Hi everyone, I'm uh, Miss Marlene and I teach uh, four-year-olds through kindergarten at church here at First Free Will Baptist Church and um, we're gonna study about the last week that Jesus lived here on the earth. But first we're gonna pray. Father God, I want to thank you for what you've done for us. It is just so loving, so unselfish, so giving, so divine. And so I want to thank you for that and for your suffering. And I ask that all of us do our best to learn from our lesson today. Amen. You know, usually we ask all of our kids what happened to them, what kind of a week they had, because we're always interested in if something happy has happened or if they're concerned about something. We kind of want to know what's going on in their lives. And so um, either I or, or Miss Tony or Miss Ruthie, well, that's how we start our class out. And we are very interested in what is happening with our kids. But this week, we are going to see what happened in this particular week of Jesus' life. And it's very important. So we're just going to, we're not going to cover everything because there's so very much. There's so very much that he did. He's always working, always, always doing something. And so I'm going to say to Paisley, Kaylin, Sammy, Marshall, Nicholas, Brooklyn, Avery, let's take this trip and just kind of pop in and see what happened that last life, that last week in Jesus' life and everybody else. We'd love for you to come with us. So let's go. Let's pretend we're on that path that Jesus rode in on the donkey. He's coming into Jerusalem. And the, the road's lined. It's lined with people. And praising him and happy to see him. They know what he's done. He's healed. He's just done so many miracles. And has made life better for, for so many people. So here he comes. He's coming into Jerusalem. And so let's just pretend like we're there. We're there in that crowd. It's like being at a parade. I love to go to a parade, and I bet you do too. People are happy. There's community. There is, um, it, it's fun. It's laughing and, and fellowship. So it's something like a parade because they're very happy Jesus is coming in. And here he comes. Try to imagine in your mind that we're there and we're seeing him come in. Here he comes. Here he comes. The people are shouting, Hosanna, which means save us, and that's exactly what he's going to do. That's exactly what he's going to do. And everybody's happy, glad to see him. They're even taking their coats off, putting it on the ground for that donkey to walk on. And it's, it's a wonderful time. And you know what I like to imagine? I like to imagine that as he's coming in, that I, I could have been there. Maybe our eyes would have met. For just an instant, maybe our eyes would have met. Maybe he would have nodded. I just, and it thrills my heart when I think of that. I love to think about that. You guys think about that too. All right. So he's coming into Jerusalem. And everyone is happy to see him. Of course, there's always those group of people that didn't want him around, that didn't, didn't like him. But he went ahead this week. He taught. Um, he, he tried to do his best to prepare his disciples for what was coming. Because remember, all along, he knows what's coming. He knows what he has to do. He knows it. So, he's in the temple. He goes into the temple of God one day. And, guess what? He healed blind people that were brought to him. He healed 
people who were lame, that had physical difficulties. Imagine being able to see. Being just It's just amazing to me. So he healed all of them. And when I read this, I want to read this out of the Bible because it just jumped out at me. It says in, in Matthew 21, And the blind and the lame came to him in the temple, and he healed them. And when the chief priests and scribes, the religious people, saw the wonderful things that he did, and the children crying or shouting in the temple, and saying, Hosanna to the son of David, the leaders were sore or very displeased. They were not happy. These kids were joining in this praise of God. It was wonderful. They were shouting and, and happy, seeing all these wonderful things happen. All these miracles. Those children were there to see it. Isn't that wonderful? And you know what Jesus said? They went up to Jesus and they said, Do you hear what's going on here and these, these kids? What they're saying? And Jesus said, went back to the Psalms of David. And David had written in a psalm that perfect faith is found in children. And made me think of you guys. You don't stop and ask or, or try to um, analyze everything. You have a childlike faith, and that's what God wants for all of us. So as adults need to take a lesson from you. You're innocent. You're, you're, your faith is, is spontaneous. You don't try to pick apart this or pick apart that and find fault. You accept it for what it is. And that's a great thing, and I'm so glad. But that when it talked about the children in the temple and how they were so happy, I thought of you guys. And I wanted to uh, read that to you. So let's go on a little bit further in his week. And uh, he's going to, they're going to have the Last Supper together. This will be the Last Supper that they all eat together um, before he dies. And he knows what's coming. And it's very, very near. Imagine how he must have felt the anxiety and fear. Because he was fully God, but he was fully human. So he felt fear and uh, dread. I'm sure he felt some very much dread. So after they eat, he goes to a garden. Garden's about my favorite place. Now, let's think about that garden. I bet there were a lot of trees and um, maybe some flowers, I don't know, but lots of trees, a wind blowing, maybe. And um, there Jesus goes to pray. He knows one of his own disciples has uh, made arrangements to betray him. And he knows it's right away. It's right around the corner. So he prays and prays. And he is very disheartened. He's sad. He's struggling because he knows what's ahead. But... He goes on. So they arrest him. They lead him to uh, Caiaphas, who was a leader then. They made fun of him. They slapped him. They hit him. They spit in his face. So that's a long night. That's a long night. And in the morning, they take him to Pilate, another leader. He was the governor. Pilate really didn't want to have, G to have Jesus crucified, but the crowd was getting unruly. It's getting unruly, and bad things can happen when it gets out of control. So the same thing there. They uh, made fun of him. I just They put a crown of thorns on his head. I can't imagine how that feels. They hit him in the head, and they abused him. And you know what? He stood there. He was a real man among men. And he stood there and he took it. And he didn't say anything. Pilate was amazed at the integrity of Jesus. So they led him away to be crucified. And that's, uh, I surely wouldn't want to see that. I wouldn't want to see that. But 
they did lead him away and they crucified him and he and he eventually died and uh, I thank him for that I thank him for that because we have no way of heaven but through him not at all he is our uh, he is our redeemer and he is the only way that we can ever hope to be in heaven so next week it gets better so we're gonna uh, sing a song here brother Bob's coming in with sister Kathy and and uh, mr. Robbie <laughs> okay I love this song and I thought you guys might like it too okay up Calvary's mountain one dreadful morn walk Christ my Savior weary and worn facing for sinners death on the cross that he might save them from endless loss blessed redeemer precious redeemer seems now i see him on calvary's tree wounded and bleeding for sinners pleading blind and unheeding dying for me father forgive them thus did he pray even while his life blood flow fast away praying for sinners while in such woe no one but jesus ever loved so blessed redeemer precious redeemer seems now i see on Calvary's tree, wounded and bleeding, for sinners pleading, blind and unheeding, dying for me. Oh, how I love him, Savior and friend, how can my praises ever find in through years unnumbered on heaven's shore my tongue shall praise him forevermore blessed redeemer precious redeemer seems now i see him on calvary's tree wounded and bleeding for sinners pleading blind and unheeding dying for me bye kids everyone tell them goodbye bye guys i miss you can't wait to see and hear your little voices okay <laughs>